Hey guys, it's time for another episode of Mr. Nelson's Sunday Comics. And sadly, Mr. Nelson uh, is a little bit too busy to do an episode for this week, so his old pal, uh, Lefty Eternity, that's me, Lefty, from the Mr. Nelson show, uh, one of his imaginary co-hosts, uh, has stepped up to uh, uh, take care of this for him. So, uh, what is it? Oh, good lord. Number 15. Wow. Boy, he sure is putting a lot of time in this. For the, uh, oh, the Eternals! I saw that movie. It was amazing. Just amazing. Stunning and brave. But I don't recognize any of this, except that's the Hulk. I remember him from uh, the Avengers or something. Uh, so anyway, uh, when gods walk the earth, the Eternals, number 15. Wow, look at that. Now, this is just toxic masculinity all over the place. And, you know, but I think this was like in the 70s or some crap. And, you know, it was a different time, and uh, it's it's all very sad. But we've come a long way since then, but we've got so much more work to do. We should do. So, uh, just, you know, giving you fair warning about how uh, toxic masculinity you're probably going to see displayed here. And uh, I know it's, it's hard, but, uh, you know, everybody's got to start somewhere and it's usually very hideous and, and crude and kind of stupid and that's how it begins but somehow it all grows into something wonderful like the mcu's eternals so a final fury as titans clash uh -huh. this issue uh icarus alone against oh, of course because none of the women are matter right i mean it turns out he was an evil bastard if you saw the movie Oh, God, I spoiled it. Sorry, but he was bad. Uh, against the cosmic-powered Hulk. So he's got cosmic powers or something. I don't know. Raging battle turns an entire city city into a disaster area. What is this, Zack Snyder? <laughs> anyway, here we go. The first page. Uh, uh, Jack Kirby. You know, a lot of people keep praising him, but it was really all Stan Lee, you know? And I just don't get it. I don't. Sorry. Not sorry. Icarus the Eternal and the Cosmic Power at Hulk. A fighting match formed by an accident from the stars. It's always that, isn't it? Like, you know, radiation and stuff. Expands into a brawl which threatens the life and property of an entire city. But within the very nature of this strange incident lies a dark threat to all humanity. It could make this planet a disaster area. Let's see, that's our title for this episode. Uh, let's see, the Grand Hulk of, uh, of a creature, that, well, he doesn't know who it is. God, what an idiot. Uh, has resisted my every effort to halt its rampage. He stole that from Superman and his suit. I have no choice but to blast it with disintegrating beams. Yeah, you didn't hesitate on that, did you? Because you're a violent, toxic male. That's just the way it is. Look what he's doing to Hulk. My goodness. And oh my God, there's a woman involved. She almost got hurt. He just, no consideration. Anyway, Icarus the Eternal, he already said that, and his friends have stumbled into a fantastic situation, spun them by the vagaries of fate. A thing without life has suddenly acquired it. But it is a thing in the image of a most destructive personality. Right now, he looks pretty innocent and, and hurt, you know? So is he really the villain? I don't think so. He's leaped out of rage. Well, yeah. What did you think, dummy? This muscle-bound mammoth is capable of amazing counter moves. Get out of his way, Cersei. You have a lovely neck, but it can be easily snapped. You see, this is what I'm talking about. You know? He, he says, get out of the way like it's her fault. It's her fault that he just smashed up the floor and made this monster try to run for his life. You know? No, it's yours, idiot. And then... He objectifies her by saying, oh, your lovely neck. And then insinuates violence about it. I mean, he really disgusting. Well, you know, the MCU was so right about him. Uh, spoilers, he's the villain in the movie. Yeah. Uh, let's see. She say, oh, she's allowed to speak. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Never by man or creature born of cosmic backlash. We must follow him and quell his, this wild rampage. I, okay, I'm not sure really following that but okay so he's taking off and they're chasing him uh, levitating with Cersei Icarus joins in the pursuit of their quarry 
Incredible, he's leaped across half the city in a few mighty bounds. His strength and speed are unparalleled, even for such as powerful, even for such a powerfully structured body. Okay, well there he goes. He's he's trying to get away from you, idiots. That's what he's trying to do. There's no telling how much cosmic power he's absorbed. We may yet be witness to wonders beyond this, or destruction beyond measure. Cersei's arm suddenly flashes forward, a weapon of grace and power. That's stunning and brave. Common to all female eternals. Oh, yeah, man. He is still made of the elements of matter. I can strike at his molecular pattern. Oh, I wonder why they didn't do that in the first place. Moments later, the cosmic hulk becomes the carrier of heavy density molecules. His body now weighs more than a ton. Well, I would have thought it already did, but and crashes in mid-flight. I've done it, Icarus. Our barrel-chested bird is down. By Zoras, he's turning to stone. In a moment, he'll be nothing more than a gargoyle, fit only to mount on some prominent edifice. We've won, Icarus. The danger has passed. Well, that's kind of sad. He's like, he's like a great version of the thing. Uh, I had a note here from Mr. Delson. I got to skip a page or two here for copyright laws or something. So we skipped ahead and oh my God, you know, just when I was kind of rooting for him, look what he does. He does something very toxic and masculine. Before Cersei can rush to the aid of Icarus, she is roughly seized by the powerful Hulk. So uh, I guess that uh, turning him into stone thing didn't, didn't last. So great Xeras, this macho murder machine thinks I'm some sort of p -p -p play thing. Exactly, exactly, because that's what men are, monsters and green with envy. His his grip is unbreakable, and he likes to tra travel. Okay, well, yeah, that's already been established. Okay, so anyway, I guess we'll jump somewhere else. The night seems to be filled with travelers, those who flee the scene of Holocaust, and the others who are drawn to it. It's just like a big mouth with metal teeth. I... But, but, but what can we do when we reach that thing, Makari? Oh, uh, no, that's that deaf girl from the movie. Oh, cool, she's in this. Though we be sorely tried, we shall continue to help in this fight. Huh? That's easy for you to say. Eternals can't be killed. Please, Professor Holden, we mustn't think of our own safety. And you see, it's always the woman that has to put things right. And that's the way it should be. You know... It's the respectful things in this old comic, after all. And, you know, she's the voice of reason. It should be listened to instead of this stupid old fart just whining about himself. Wait a minute, who the hell is this? What? Sorry, Margo, I, I didn't mean to sound like a mouse. But this is no ordinary street brawl. We're facing something fearsome. This, see, he's got to... He can't just accept that she's right. No, he has to mansplain. <laughs> God. Life is not eaten, Professor. The sun does go down, and darkness has its hazards. And this need for unity, that's right. Wait, is this supposed to be mockery? That's a man, and he's speaking. What the hell? The comic book got it completely wrong. Anyway, at that very moment, release me, you brutal zombie. My bones can't, my bones, I'm sorry, can't take this pressure. I, but I thought she was immortal or something. Anyway, there's our quarry. He's got Cersei. So, yeah. He's taking her to the tower of that tall building. My God, he's going to do the King Kong bit. How do we deal with this? Now, you know, don't just say it out loud, you know, even though it's pretty obvious that's what they're doing, but still. Oh, well. Very carefully, Margo, and with the powers I've instilled in this vessel. Look, he's tearing the tower loose. Well, then how's he going to climb it? Uh, with frightening ease, the powerful creature raises the massive tower above his head. The whole tower? Good God. That's Makari's crab. He's going to smash it. And I'm too weak to stop. Now, why is she too weak? Because she's a woman? Come on, Marvel. The huge edifice is thrown at his missile speed. Oh, at missiles. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> his missile speed. <laughs> Anyway, at missile speed, nothing in his path can survive. Mockery, it's going to hit us. 
Well, I guess it won't hit them. It's going way over here, but they're talking from over here. So, hmm. Well, anyway. However, the vehicles of mockery are known to be miracles of speed. This one barely escapes total destruction. Yeah. Hold steady, friends. We did it. I mean, you did it, mockery. I've never seen anything maneuver like this ship. You've yet to see more, but I shall have to levitate us for our own sef safety. I, I have the distinct feeling that I may have to scream. Why? Because she's a woman? Jeez Louise. Okay, I had to skip ahead again. Uh, eager to destroy his prey, the Hulk strikes too soon. His mighty blow falls short of its mark. But the backlash of his swing is powerful enough to send Mockery's vessel ricocheting from building to building. <laughs> it's like a pinball machine. <laughs> Suddenly, there he is, shoot to kill. <laughs> Dumbasses, that's not going to work. These rifles can make Swiss cheese out of a tank. They can? Huh. Yet we can't put a dent in this dinosaur. He's not a dinosaur. I mean, he, he, even back then, he wasn't that old. Anyway, keep moving and keep firing. We could t uh, we can't take him, so we've got to snuff him. But, oh my God, you hope you see just violent thugs. A seismic tremor shakes the roof as the creature's foot smashes down. He's came the roof in. Grab it, anything stable. I, I can't. I'm slipping. I can't hold on. Up, oh, baby. Meanwhile, in another section of the city, this town is gripped by terror, sir. As one involved with these events, can you tell us what's happening? What is this? Who are you? Why, I'm Walter Reasoner of, <laughs> of GBC, of course. And you're an eternal, aren't you? Is it? Or is it not the Hulk they're shooting up at there? I don't know what he is, mister, but I do know that he packs a nuclear wallop. Oh, boy, look at uh, Icarus there with his He-Man hair, all, you know, all banged up and stuff. Hey, Mr. Reasoner, ask him if Dr. Doom and Thor are fighting, too. A fair question. Yeah, is it true that the Inhumans are coming? These... Comic fans think that all of the Marvel characters are running amok. Well, well wait a minute. So, in this world, the Marvel comic characters are just comic books, and they're not. Or, I don't get this thing. What? What's really happening? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. Ah, shove it. Let this cool dude talk. Go ahead, Eternal. Speak to the camera. You're blowing your priorities. I'm needed at the source of the trouble. Can you elaborate? Take one minute. I don't know, Ganny. Well, I guess we'll have to find out, but anyway. Okay, once again, I had to skip ahead. You know the deal. So, oh boy, they look really shocked. I wonder what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Even boars can acquire the knack of being right. Oh, Icarus, what will happen if we can't stop him? He looks like some unknown organism infected with the power of the gods. Yes, and he'll use them. The havoc will spread if this power grows stronger. I tell you, Cersei, that the signs are not good. He'll smash this city to rubble before his powers fade. Well, you know, they seem to be going around in circles. Oh, look, it's Clark Kent, and I guess that's Lois. As the crisis mounts, the press reviews all known facts concerning it. Good evening. My colleagues are Truman Schwartz and Millie McCoy. Oh, I guess that's Millie, not Lois. I'm Harry... Harry Cronkite. Oh, come on. Really? And this is the news. The danger is growing. Our city is at the mercy of a rogue force of unprecedented nature. All efforts to contain it have failed. Our police are regrouping to attack. The National Guard is momentarily expected, and the city is now officially a disaster area. 
By remote, we have with us tonight the people who claim initial responsibility for our present grave condition. We had no inkling that this kind of development would take place, sir. What began as a school project has become a nightmare. So what, they had like a science? Oh, jeez, I'm getting a message. Hang on. That's nah, nothing. Uh, so what's the deal? They had like a, a science fair and some kid made one of those idiot uh, volcanoes and it got out of hand and made the Hulk or something. Apparently that's what happened. Okay, we'll skip ahead again. Oh, look, the old man's getting into it. How in blazes do you do it, man? The Eternal does it. I'm just pulled along for the ride. Mock mockery, what are you doing? Don't leave us behind. Easy, miss. Farewell, you two. I can no longer expose you to dangers that you can't cope with. So you just now noticed that, huh? Good luck and good hunting, Mockery. The Lord knows how this will end. These Eternals can sure take punishment. I sure hope he beats the odds. I, I feel so helpless being left here to wait. Again, you know, it, you're stronger than you know, girlfriend. At that moment, boom. Oh, there's an explosion. I guess no one was there to help those guys out. Oh, it was right there at the same place. Jeez Louise. Oh, so well, Mockery. Great job. That shock must have shattered the Richter scale. Are you hurt, Mar Margo? I'll live, but I don't know for how long if this keeps up. Up there, it's the Hulk. Clear this area of civilians. He's grown stronger, more savage. He's raining tons of debris upon the streets. Gee, I hope it's just debris and not, you know. Uh, so the, there is a mass rush for cover as the city trembles in the form of falling masonry. Run, run. On the rooftops above the rampaging creature roars an awesome automated fury. Then from the park skies above, uh, somebody's shooting at him again. And oh, good Lord, what uh, these look like helicopters from Dr. Seuss or something. I, helicopter gunships converge on their target. Look out, he's got a big rock and he throws it at him. Well, okay, I guess his rock uh, beats your guns. Good grief, he smashed our lead chopper. Pour it onto him. Yeah, I don't think anyone survived that. I mean, and they kept doing Hulk comics after this. I mean, he's a murderer. I mean, that's just, that's not, I'm not okay with that. All right, we skip ahead. And uh, boy, I tell you, everything is just a mess. Uh, uh, then the terrible echoes give way to the crackle of flame. And now a distant shouts of dismay. Uh, a massive subhuman, now come on, we don't have to be insulting like that, moves menacingly across the tons of heaped debris. Before him stand the last ditch defenders of the, the city. Uh, yeah, the city. Stand fast, don't give way. He's reached the peak of his power, Icarus. What are our chances of stopping him? Very few. Leave, Cersei. This won't be nice. Obey, sir. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, tell the woman to obey, uh, but from the man who should have been a woman. I, Eternals can't die, but they can be twisted out of shape for all time. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess if he, like, broke her back or something, she'd be stuck in a wheelchair for all eternity. That would be terrible. Anyway, nevertheless, we've got to marshal our own powers and use them with a will equal to his. Wait, behold. Let my hand decide this fate. So I don't know. The magic green, red-headed green man shows up to solve the whole problem. Uh, like, where was he? Was he, like, taking a dump during all of this? You know, I, you know. So great, Z Z great Zuras. It's great Zuras. Uh, okay. And the big city crypt. And the next exciting if you get it. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure Mr. Delson will be back by then. But, uh, well, if you're interested in that, you can check that out. But I think, yeah, it just, you know, again, I have to apologize. Just the raw toxic masculinity throughout this, uh, this story is just unacceptable. It's inappropriate. And it's wrong. It should be condemned. And I do. I think it should be canceled. Totally canceled. Sorry. You know, sorry, not sorry.
Yeah, that's how I roll. Anyway, you can find me on the Mr. Nelson show from time to time. Except when Mr. Nelson fills it up with his stupid night-night stories or some crap like that. But, uh, you know, for really intellectual commentary, you know, you just you, you just can't find it any better than from your old pal, me, uh, Lefty Turnington, on the Mr. Nelson show. So do check it out. And uh, hope you have a good Sunday and all that. So uh, see you next time. Bye! Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends, yes. Also, check out my many stores <laughs> in the link description below, yes, where you can get t-shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies with my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, on RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh, my goodness. So many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh, yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.